Hi, I'm Adam Mendoza, and welcome to the Ohio Athletic Conference Football Preview. I'm here with Al Logan, the head coach for Muskingum. Coach, as you enter the season, your thoughts about your squad as you head into this upcoming campaign? Well, I tell you what, I, l I like the group of guys we have coming back in August, and uh, uh, I thought we had a great offseason. Uh, I think this team felt like we left a little on the field last year, and uh, uh, but hopefully turned it around and, and what we've done and prepared ourselves for the offseason. And, and, uh, but uh, got a great group of guys coming in. We're excited about that. You said you're coming in, trying to turn things around. You struggled a little bit. You had a young quarterback in Cody Williams. How has he improved going into his junior uh, just, year? Just an idea. You know, Cody, Cody, we think we always thought was a pretty decent quarterback. And uh, But also last year when he started the season, he was our best wideout. So he, he started the first three games of wideout. And then we had to move the quarterback and, you know, progressed every game. Uh, you know, we got to the end of the year. Uh, you know, he had a great understanding of what we were doing and all that. And, and uh, uh, it's, it's been working like crazy, uh, trying to get a little bit bigger and stronger. He's not a very big guy, but uh, uh, he's got some physical strengths to him that uh, have been pretty decent. Um, and we look for him just to continue to, uh, to get better. Had a great spring for us, I thought, as an understanding of, of what we do offensively. And uh, we can win ball games with Cody Williams. Now on the defensive side, you look at the OAC, there's a, a lot of offensive firepower last year. Your defense, number three in the conference, but you lost a few key pieces. Uh, who you'll look to, to step up for this year? Well, you know, I think, you know, the strength the strength of our defense is going to be, you know, our linebacker core. I think we have five guys in there that all have uh, a great deal of playing experience, you know, led by uh, DeMond Goggins and, and uh, uh, but also Jordan Smith and Zach Berry. And, uh, Kid, we get back from from two years ago, Cheney Fulton, who was uh, we think is an outstanding player, uh, was injured all last year, so we get him back this year. And we think he's going to be uh, truly a plus to, to that core guys too. But uh, uh, you know, we got some work to do in the secondary. We graduated three out of the four guys there, but Tyler Lancaster coming back to play ten games for us as a freshman, we think is an outstanding player, uh, truly one of the good defensive backs in this conference. And uh, up front, you know, with Tony Moore and Joe DeWitt and uh, Barry Parks and uh, hopefully uh, Alan Morris, uh, those guys are going to be uh, solid for us, and we're, we're excited about those guys. Now tell us, we were talking a little bit about the Goggins, your senior linebacker. Tell us a little bit more about him. Uh, he's just a great uh, player. He doesn't say a whole lot, uh, lead by example type of guy. Uh, but our defensive kids, uh, and, and our defensive kids respond to him, but our, our team voted him. You know, our offensive captain, our defensive captain this year, and uh, uh, just a great weight, weight room guy. Uh, represents our program with uh, unbelievable uh, skills and, and uh, does an outstanding job in the classroom. So I'm excited to have him. When you have a number of young kids coming up in the program, how important is it for seniors like him and, and the seniors on your ball club really to get this team molded? Well, yeah, I mean, I think they set the tone for uh, when we come in day one. and. Uh, you know, their presence uh, in our locker room on the field in the cafeteria and how they represent themselves and in this kingdom uh, is critical right when those guys come on the campus to say you know this is a this is the attitude and the environment that we have here for this kingdom football and, and this is what we expect from you so it, it, it's a great deal you know it's not just coaches but uh, it's always the, the good players that kind of set that tone coach good luck on this upcoming season thank you very much appreciate thank it we are now joined by Damon Goggins a senior linebacker when you come into this year, you're one of the top defensive uh, players in the OAC. Uh, what do you see as you set the goals for this upcoming season? Um, for the team or myself? Either one. Well, for the team, I just want, obviously, to do much better than last year. I want our team to come together as a family more, have most of our players have individual goals as well as team goals. Have them uh, just to believe, believe in anything's possible. Don't give in to anything. Don't be negative. Always have a positive outlook on practice, game, just life in general. Now, when you look at these offenses in the OAC, pretty pretty tough offenses. Um, defensively, you guys were third in the conference last year. What are you looking to really set the? You guys looking to set the bar even higher this year on that defensive side of the football? Of course, we're always looking to shoot higher. That's at any um, athletic program. We would love to uh, be number one or even possibly number two, as long as it's better than number three. Then when you're looking at the, the season, uh, how important is it to be a senior leader on, on your football team? Well, one thing is very important, um, even though I'm not really a speaker, um, I tend to lead by example, but I also would like to pass on uh, wisdom that I have or that I've gained from 
from this college experience to the freshmen that are coming up, or even the uh, juniors or sophomores. Now, when you talk to those younger kids, and everybody knows about the OAC and how tough of a football conference it is, how tough is it for you and your and your squad when you look at the teams and the, and the caliber of players that you face week after week? Um, I think it's pretty tough. Of course, you have teams like, of course, John Carroll, Mount Union, Heidelberg, Hound Northern, teams like that. And we just prepare, prepare hard, prepare practice, work hard in the weight room, let's start coaches, watch film, basically good preparation. Well, Demond, good luck this year, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. And if you want more information on the Ohio Athletic Conference and any of the football teams, you can go to OAC.org. I'm Adam Mendoza, and thank you for joining us for the Ohio Athletic Conference football preview.